So we've come back to the stones to cook some tea, spend the last night here. And the drove's actually jam packed since we've been, I mean, we've only been, we've been about a couple of hours. We've come back and it, it is packed. People in cars, vans. So I don't know if there's something happening tonight. Yeah, so that wall well, is going to cook some tuna steak. Oh, I'm so and for this. Paella. And paella with some king prawns in it. King prawns and some nice salad and noodles and some nice fresh ingredients. Mm. Nice bit of winter coming through now. Yes, it is. Cooling the van down a bit now, isn't it? And it oh, and I've got my peas to pop as well. No, pea so pods. Did you have those pea pods? Yes, man. So I'll catch you in a bit. So you even say it in the front of the camera? It's totally not my bones are gone. Cooking up the base. I, I, with your hands gone, it's massive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you've done. Look. It's all swollen up, you've lost your knuckles. I know, like, look at this now, like, compared to that. I don't know I've done something like doing that. Oh, I don't, I don't know, but like it's, it's ah, there, it's here, right there. Mental, isn't it? It's just still cooking. And that's just about cooking meat, also. Probably makes sense. It's a very, very fat hair because I actually thought it was a rabbit, but I think the tears are too long. But we've had good tea, we've moved the van a little bit further back because it was on an angle. And when you sleep in a van on an angle, you kind of wake up with a bad back, which we didn't want. And all the cars have cleared off. We did just find out by somebody who's came over and spoke with it that the reason that it was so busy but down here was because there was a funeral. And I was, everyone was getting together. And, Went out the stones and had a bit of a ceremony and stuff like that, which is nice. That's what it was for, it was for a funeral. So it's emptied out a bit now, the cars have gone and stuff, and so we moved back a bit just to get on a nice flat even surface. The sun is going down, and I don't know if I can now be asked to take a wander or not. I wonder if I can be asked. <laughs> we have walked a lot of miles we have to walked walked loads. Over eight miles to the so we've walked, done over eight mile of walking, done some serious, serious sunburning because I am bunt and sore. My back's starting to go really tight. So and you're going to keep going cold and everything. Yeah, right? so well, it's been an awesome day again and we are going to have a nice chill out night and we will catch you guys in the morning. On the flip side. Or the flip side.
guys, another nice sunny day. It's a lot earlier this morning. We didn't really have a lie in, we're going up nice and sharp. Because we're going to set off for Glastonbury. Which I'm looking forward to. So I like the town centre and the quirky little shops. But what a nice, got some nice pictures of the stars because it was such a clear night. And the army must have been doing some training on flares because there was just flares getting set off all night and it was lush. Beautiful to see. And then as it got a bit chilly and early killed were, mm -hmm. I put the log burner on. And I used this stuff for the bottom of the log burner here because I did use, I did try the cement, but the cement just, because it moves a little bit, it's got a little bit of vibration, the cement thing, so I took all that off and I used this metal putty, changed the metal, you know, put it on exhaust and stuff like that. Whoa. As soon as that started heating up, because it just started, I don't know what was going on with this putty stuff, it wasn't turned to metal, it didn't turn to metal, that's for sure, I just, it turned to this horrible gritty poison, poison yeah, it just turned to poison, it just started smoking the van out, so I opened the door, get all that scraped off as well, 12 o'clock right night and I'm trying to scrape all the shit off the burner. That was horrible, lad. It was, it stunk, didn't it? So yeah, we're going to get sorted, have a cup of, and take a nice trip to Glastonbury. Just like that, we are in Glastonbury. Ta-da! The magic! That was YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, what a place. What a place. Quirky. Definitely. Hot. Very. Very, very. Nope. Black. <laughs> I kind of get over and she, she says, I'm the one that's tan. You did yesterday. Uh, yeah. Like, Rude and what's pop <laughs> circle hunting and things yeah. like that. Like, well, I'm still buzzing about the pop circle. Like. Oh, I know. And like, I'm always so sad to leave there, but then we come here and it's like, oh, it's a new kind yeah. of buzz that sets us off on. Because I've just heard my first word, been here seconds, and I've heard my first word, just cackle. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely in Glastonbury. I'm going to do a bit of shopping, I think, and see, see all the quirky little shops.
Well, I suppose this is probably the perfect time to ask is if you like what you see, would you please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, the bell, you know, really help out a bit. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So we've had a walk through town, got the fish and chips, I'm gonna go walk back to the van. I tell you what though, <laughs> you can tell we're in Glastonbury. <laughs> you know, I think people here are absolutely amazing. But there are some crazies uh, that I think I might have been here a bit too long. We literally just walked straight into town, didn't we? No longer had, I think I just put the phone over here. Just walked into town and some random wifey asks if we knew where we could, where yeah. she could get a time machine. But nah, it's a time thing, they're harmless like, I suppose. Nah, the people here, man, they're great. It's all fun. Spike yeah, the energy's different, yeah, isn't it? Up at me, like, I Walk back to the van, indulge in some fish and chips. See, look at that man, we've been here that often, you know, where you go, you know, you know this place out like the back of your hand now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. in a bit. Oh, hi. Good morning. You know that? Glorious morning it is, we've had such a lie-in. <laughs> it's a lie-in, it's not late, late. It's still early. And it's already 23 degrees. So it is going to be a scorcher. So we had a little bit of a shopping trip yesterday, bought a few crystals, I got myself a new hippie top. Come back to the van and honestly, it, it, it was just so hot. So we had a nice chill out, we found a nice little pulley in place. We came with pulling here last year. Because we went for a walk through that field over there. We call it the field of crickets. Because that's all it sounded like. was just crickets everywhere. They yeah, were just chilled out last night. And honestly, the heat, man. So intense. And it's going to be uh, like that again today. So today we are going to go and take a walk up the tour. We're kind of coming to Glastonbury and up visit the tour. And it's a beautiful walk up there too. So I've got the kettle on. I'm going to make myself a cuppa. Get my asses into gear. Go we'll take a trip into town again. What a beautiful day! Glorious. We parked up the same place we parked yesterday because it is a nice walk into the town and it's a nice walk to the tour. And it is pretty hard to get parked round the tour. We learned that it's last year. They're absolutely tiny, the roads. And we noticed, I mean, when we first came here a couple of years ago, you could park beside the tour, <laughs> which was pretty cool. And when we come back the year after, they put loads of rocks down, didn't they? Yeah. Like big boulders and stuff. And so now we'll just park next to Morrison's. We're telling you about what, 20 minute walk? It's a nice walk though, especially when the sun's shining down on you like this, man. Like 26 degrees. Beautiful. It's half 11 in the morning. Yeah. Last night it just didn't cool down. It was warm all night long. Yeah, it was very hot last night, man. But I just collapsed out, didn't I? Yeah, it's not like you. But we'll catch us up at the tour. This is where you wanted to smell sheep poo, innit? Have faith in my videos and... 
pizza. This is you want. This is turkey pizza. This is turkey pizza. Yeah, we can. Well, that was a challenge. In this heat, it is anyway. Wow. So nice, okay, there's a little bit of breeze, a little bit of a breeze. Just enough to cool it down. Just enough to keep you from overheating. I think we're just gonna sunbathe here for a bit. And I'm not used to seeing Willow struggle with the heat. Somebody with a drum and a flute. I'm assuming it's down there in the woods. Yes. And I've just had me drawn out and being approached by some bloke. Bearing in mind. Totally unnecessary. That though. Like, oh, Considering I'm, like I'm sat here with me controller in my hand flying the drone. He's like, so, oh, so, so are you the one with the drone? Duh. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, that's me. But he doesn't like drones, right? He fly over his place when he's half dressed. Because he finds him. Uh, but what he says was, I don't like drones. I was like, all right. No, so first, originally, your first year approach, his first approach was, after finding out I was the one flying the drone, was, oh, I was going to chuck something at it. And I mean, you kind of go doing stuff like that, man. But apparently, he finds them intrusive. My point to him was, well, considering, mate, there's 100 people up here with the camera phones out taking videos and pictures, the drones are the last of your issues without being intrusive. But he means when they fly over his house, if he's in his vegetable patch half naked. <laughs> I'm nowhere near your house, mate. You're not half naked and you're certainly not in your vegetable patch. But I think the funniest, what I found funnier was, his response was, oh, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you, because I fly drones too. <laughs> that was the funniest thing, was oh, I do, I, I, I do it for, for film making. Right, that's exactly what I'm doing now. There's just no need for a billionaire. No. Well, I mean, it's just to approach somebody and say, oh, by the way, I don't like drones, but I fly them myself to make movies. But I don't like them. I find them intrusive. It's quite busy up here today. I don't know if the camera's picking that drums up. I think, since it's nice and sunny and hot, we'll leave us up here. 
and enjoy the rest of this day and the rest of our time in Glastonbury while you enjoy the sunshine up here. Please guys, if you like what you see, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And ring on that bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. And we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.